It is day four of 12 strays of Christmas. We're featuring a pet you can adopt from the Idaho Humane Society every weekday up until Christmas. So on this fourth stray of Christmas, Christine Shellhouse with the Humane Society brought to us Nutmeg. Yes, isn't she cute? <laughs> She's beautiful. Nutmeg's a little dwarf, and um, she doesn't mind people handling her too much. So um, she just we always recommend slow introductions around your family, of course. And fun fact, uh, oh, yeah. rabbits can be potty trained just like cats. So uh, litter box. Yes. Yeah, so they make a great apartment pet or um, for someone who's looking to introduce an indoor-outdoor pet. Um, we recommend that, um, of course, rabbits are exposed to the outdoors when it's spring and summer, mm -hmm. you know, not when it's cold outside like it is right now. But um, a lot of rabbits can really bring a lot of joy to people's homes, and they're, of course, super soft and fuzzy. And maybe if you live in an apartment, you can't have a dog or a cat, but rabbit might make a good fit. I didn't know that they could be potty trained or yes, litter box trained that's pretty smart. cool oh nut nutmeg's gonna start checking some things out um do you have other rabbits as well and oh you actually have a program we do rabbits, right? so we have a rodent rabbit rescuer program so we ask that um, teachers contact us homeschoolers we have a four-week program and you can pick the pet that you bring into the classroom um, you can have small animals a lot of people enjoy rabbits um, and we have um, curriculum that we can give you to teach really fun facts about animals, how to take care of them, mm -hmm. the math involved with um, pet care and all of that. So, um, plus it gives kids a really good um, idea of how to handle animals mm -hmm. and that humane education. And it's not only dogs and cats and rabbits at the Idaho Humane Society. What else do you have there that people might not think you would have? Well, we're an open admission shelter, which means we'll take anything. Um, we even get wildlife that are injured, um, and then we usually triage those and hand them off to our partners. Um, but we have lots of rats oftentimes, mice, birds, um, parakeets, all kinds of stuff. Big animals too? I mean... um, we get on occasion uh, some animals. Um, we do also do a lot of neglect and cruelty work. Yeah. So um, we will seize animals depending on if the conditions are bad. So right now we have goats at our shelter and all kinds of stuff. Well, Nutmeg is up for adoption right now. And if you'd like to meet her and maybe take her home, you can go to the Humane Society and meet up with the, what do you call it? The animal matchmakers. The matchmakers, right? <laughs> and um, there you have a number that you can text STRAY to 208-321-5614. Christine, thank you so much. My pleasure. Always appreciate your visits, and thank you all for watching today. Hope you have a great afternoon. I'll see you back here on the News at 4.